Hello guys, and welcome to Jazz Deck Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to decorate your pictures background from this to this. And it'll all be done in under 10 minutes. That's right, 10 minutes or less. So let's get started. First you want to open a photo. Any photo you have will be fine. Um, some may not work, it depends, but I'm going to, but I'm going to use this photo here. Um, and I'm going to first, I'm going to duplicate the layer by doing a control J or right click on the first layer and duplicate layer, whichever is easier for you. Then I'm going to take the eraser tool, magic eraser tool, and erase the whole background. You can use the background eraser, the eraser tool, whatever is easier for you is fine. But I'm just using the, the magic eraser because it works easier for me. But everyone's got their own preference. So make sure you click the eye tool on the background, the eye, make sure you click the eye so the eye's gone and that you have a transparent background when you're erasing. It just makes it easier so you know what you're doing. So once you have it, also, there we go. Alright, I have mine almost all erased. Alright, now it's all erased. Now you want to click on the granite tool. You're going to actually create a granite. And you're going to change the colors too. So push G for granite, or select the granite tool. And then we're going to change it from black and white. We're going to change the black color. So click on that little black thing and we're going to change the color to the color as shown which is going to be 012732 alright and then once you've got that click OK and then click on the white button there and we're going to change that white all the way to black and then click OK and OK again and then create your granite as shown Click on the eye on the background first, actually. Click on the background, the eye, so that background showing. Then you want to make a granite like that. And then you should have this. Once you've done that, push T or select the tool, the type tool. And you're going to type in your text behind the duplicated layer, just like shown. Okay? And feel free to change up your font or whatever. I'm just using this font because it looks cool. And the color should be a dark color like this. Um, I just used the granite. I just used a lighter color from the granite. So that's what my looks like. And then create a new layer just above the background. And we're going to now select the brush tool. And you're going to select one of these two brushes first. Either one's fine to use. I'm using this one first. And once you, and I'll provide those in the in the description to download. Make sure the uh, color for that is is white. Make sure when you paint it's white and not any other color. And make sure you got a new layer. And you're going to paint just like this. Feel free to paint it wherever you want in your background. I'm doing it this way, but feel free to switch it up a bit. Okay. And now once you have that, go into and select the next brush, which is your second one. And paint the rest of it. So you have it looking like that. Yours should look similar to that, maybe not exactly, but it's similar. Then go back and select the tool, the type tool again, and type in new text. But make sure this text is above all the rest of the layers, way at the top. So, and again, feel free to change up your font. Um, Alright, there's no set font here. I'm going to be changing mine anyway. And this color for the text should be white, only because it's going to look better in white. But if you feel free, if you want to make it black or whatever color you want, that's fine by me. No preference there. And you can move it around and do whatever you want. And when I'm done with that, this is what mine looks like. So this is where you should be so far. Okay. Now we're going to go into Image and Adjustments. I'm going to select the Color Balance. I'm going to change the Midtones. And you're going to follow the set, follow, punch in the numbers here as shown. That way you get a good um, outcome. So it's going to be negative 18, 0, and then the last one will be plus 14. And then click OK. And you should have this. We're going to go back into image and adjustments again.
You're going to merge your layers first before we do anything else. Make sure you merge them. All right. Then you're going to select the brush tool. And you're going to select the brush as shown. That one will also be in the description for you to download. And you're going to brush and you're going to put this one just be below the um, your second text layer. So it should look something like this when you're done. Okay? And that one also will be in white. Make sure that color is white. Then go back into adjustments. Click on brightness and contrast. And here it's all about you. You can, you, you can control your contrast and brightness to whatever you want. These are just my numbers I'm using, but if you want to make it brighter or, or darker, feel free to move it around. This is all of you. And then just click OK when you're done. When you have it to your liking, click OK, and you'll have something similar to this. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's awesome already. Okay, now go back into Image and Adjustments, and you're going to want to click on, again, Color Balance. But this time, we're going to work with the highlights. Okay? And then just type in the numbers as I'm showing here, and you should get a good outcome. 0 plus 14, and 0 are the numbers, and then click OK on your screen, and you will have something like this. And then again, we're going to go back into image adjustments, and this time we're going to click on levels. Um, I know levels are a little hard to understand, but just if you fall, just type in my numbers and it'll be easy. 679, 1.00, 2, 2.44, and 0 and 2.55 should be the output levels. And then just click OK and you will have your image. Okay, well that's basically it. That's basically all there is to it. Not much more to it. It couldn't get any more simpler than that. And look how cool it looks already. Hopefully you enjoyed this and um, have any questions, feel free to ask. And um, if you want, post a response to this video showing me what you made with yours. It'd be cool to see what everyone makes. Alright, hope you enjoyed this and have a fantastic and wonderful day.